So today in detail, in detail we will try understanding what is the concept of triangle. In triangle chapter there is a concept that is the congruency of triangle. Okay, let me write it over here. This terminology is completely, it's a mathematical language, it's a mathematical word, okay? Congruency means exactly, exactly same in shape and size. Congruency in in our in our daily life what we call photocopy or exact same copy or equals to each other here in mathematics if two figure especially in geometry if two figures are exactly exactly same in shape and size then we will say this the two figures are congruent with each other See, most of the students, they don't understand the meaning of congruency and then start proving the triangles congruent. So before starting with the triangle and proving two triangles as a congruent, we need to understand what is the meaning of congruencies. And the meaning of congruency is exactly same in shape also and in size also. So if I am drawing one of the circle over here and I am drawing another circle over here, how we will check these two circles are exactly, exactly same. It, these two are same in shape. These two are circle. We understand. But the size is also same. How we will understand? So in real life, we can say that if we will take one of the figure and we'll place the another figure on the first one and if both will cover each other completely, then we can say both are congruent with each other. Okay, I can show you one of the palm of mine and I can show you another palm of mine. Okay, and if, if I will place it like this, can you see both are covering each other completely? Can you see? Yes. Can you see it? Yes, ma'am. And hence both are congruent with each other. That is the meaning of congruency. If you will take one of the shape and will place it on another shape and if both are covering each other completely, then and only then we will be saying that the given two figures are congruent. The given two figures are congruent with each other. That's the meaning of congruency. Okay. Thanks for joining today. Maybe in the next class, I will continue with the same and then uh, quickly I will give the brief introduction of this congruency. But today I can talk about it in detail. So that's the meaning of congruency. And yeah, here we will, be, especially we will focus on the congruency of triangle. And if two triangle will be given, how we will check two triangles are congruent? Are we going to cut out one of the triangle from the question paper and we'll place it on the other triangle? No. There are few certain rules which we will be following to check whether the two given figures are congruent or not. That means two given shapes are exactly, exactly same in shape and size or not. Okay. Now, when we are saying two shapes are congruent with each other, then they are corresponding. Corresponding side must be same and then their corresponding angle also has to be same. Okay, so if I'm drawing one quadrilateral over here, let's say I'm drawing quadrilateral PQRS and I'm drawing another quadrilateral over here, ABCD. Here I am saying that PQ is 5 cm, QR is 4.5 cm, RS is 6 cm and PS is let's say 5.5 cm. In the other quad quadrilateral, I am saying that one of the, the sides, let's say this is 
six centimeter. Let's say this is four point five centimeter. This is five centimeter. Okay, or we can say five point five. This is five centimeter. Okay, now how we will check this two figures are. congruent or not see congruency doesn't mean that if if one of the figure is sitting like this another will be sitting like this only it can be like this you have to twist and turn turn it and you then you have to place it on the previous one and then you have to check whether both are covering each other or not the basic without even understanding the chapter logically we have to check we can just turn it we can just twist and turn it and then we can check which which corners are is exactly suitable for each other and which side are covering each other completely and then only we will place it like that right yes sir yes, yes sir. this is how we have to place it suppose i will give you a triangle like this and will give you another triangle like this and will ask you whether this two are congruent or not please don't take it like this and try to place it on the other one no just twist and turn it and check which which corners are exactly matching with each other okay which way you will be able to cover both of them and then you will check now is it covering or not okay so all possible way we will twist and just we will just turn it and we will check it placing on the first one this is how we will be checking the congruency two figure will be given congruent whether check it whether both are congruent or not then you have to check it very carefully how what is the meaning of congruency that we already understand that means exactly same in shape and size okay now let's get back to our quadrilateral whether quadrilateral pqrs and quadrilateral abcd this two are exactly same in shape and size or not so exactly same in shape and size means what sides has to be same exactly same and corresponding angle also has to be exactly same so here i am writing corresponding side has to be exactly same and corresponding angle will also be same that is the meaning of congruency okay corresponding side at corresponding angle now what is the meaning of corresponding side here we can see pq and the, the corresponding side of pq is ad can you see it can you see it yes sir similarly yes. corresponding side corresponding side of qr is ab similarly corresponding side of sr is bc and corresponding side of ps is cd okay the, this is the meaning of corresponding side now what about corresponding angle so here i am giving you the information that all the angle of this this quadrilateral is same as the angle of other quadrilateral now let's see the same scenario for the triangle suppose i have given you one of the triangle and the name of the triangle is abc and i am giving you another triangle also and the name of the triangle is let's say pqr okay i am giving the measurement ab is 5 cm ac is 6 cm and bc is let's say 7 cm okay here also i am giving the measurement that is pq is 7 cm this is 6 cm and this is 5 cm now let me give the angles also angle a let's say is 30 degree angle b is let's say 100 degree and this is suppose 50 degree okay in the other triangle let me mark the angles this is 30 this is this is 
50 and this is 100. Now we can see just by observing the two triangle, we can say that ABC and PQR, these two figures are exactly, exactly same in shape and size. We can say it, okay? Now I was talking about the corresponding side. So can you tell me what, what are the corresponding sides over here? Corresponding sides. Who will say? Side AB and side PR. Is it corresponding side? Check it. That's the meaning of corresponding side. Corresponding means one of the sides from here must be exactly same. Exactly same in measurement to the one of the side from the other. And these two sides are called corresponding sides. Getting it? Yes, ma'am. Yes. Okay. Yes, now, another side from here, that is AC. And another side from there, that is QR. These two are corresponding sides. Corresponding sides. Now, one of the sides from here and another side from there, these two are corresponding sides. That's the meaning of corresponding sides. Now, I was also talking about corresponding angle. Now, let's check which, which are the pair of corresponding. This, these are the pair of corresponding sides. Now, we will make the list of pair of corresponding angles. Okay. So, can you see that angle A and angle? You are. Yes, angle A and angle R. These two are corresponding angle. Okay. Angle C and angle Q, these two are corresponding angle. And angle B and angle P, these two are pair of corresponding angle. And yeah, here, these two are same also. So if corresponding sides and corresponding angle are equal with each other, then we will say the triangle are congruent with each other. Now you will be able to see one of like very new sign over here. Now we can say triangle ABC is congruent to triangle PQR, okay? And instead of writing this sentence form is congruent, what we will do, we will be using this notation. The way for is equals to, we, we use this sign is equals to, similarly from now, Whenever you will see this sign in mathematics, you will understand that that means congruent sign. Congruent means the two shapes are exactly same in shape and size. Okay. So we will be saying from now onward that AB is congruent to PQR. But, but, but wait for a while. When you are writing the name ABC and PQR, you have to be careful. You have to be careful. Why I'm saying you have to be careful? Because the corresponding side and corresponding angle list which you have created so far, you have to write it properly in the name of the triangle. A, the first, the first alphabet and the, they are the first alphabet. These two has to be corresponding angles. Okay. Similarly, B over here, the second alphabet which represent one of the angle and Q over there, these two angle B and angle Q has to be corresponding angles and angle C and angle R has to be corresponding angles. Similarly, similarly, side also we will match that side AB and side PQ has to be corresponding side. So that, why I was explaining corresponding side and corresponding angle so that you will be careful while writing the name of the triangle. So can we write PQR? No, we cannot write PQR because angle A is angle A and angle R are pair of corresponding angle, not P. A and R, these two angles are same. A Angle A or angle R same hai. Angle A or P same nahi hai. Toh hum log aise nahi lik sakte. This is completely incorrect. So how we will write? We will write it like this. 
we will write triangle abc is congruent to triangle r p b uh, r p q and now we have to check it even i have to check it okay so we have to check it how a has to be same as r b has to be same as p and c has to be same with q but we are not done we will be checking the sides as well so let's check ab side has to be same with rp side side ab and side rp is it same is it same check it fast ab and rp is it same ab and rp is it same ab and pr rp whatever is it same yes yes, yes. Okay, now we will be checking the other pair also. Side BC and side PQ has to be same, exactly same measurement. BC and PQ. If you will understand the concept over here, then only you will be able to write corresponding side uh, later on. Okay, so side BC and PQ, BC PQ, BC is seven centimeter, and their PQ is seven centimeter. Yes. So far, we have written it correctly. Now let's check the third side, AC. AC. See the cursor. Okay, on the screen, you have your eyes should be on the cursor. Side AC and side RQ. RQ. Is it corresponding side? Yes, it is corresponding side. That means now we have written the name properly. Am I making sense to all of you? Yes, ma'am. Yes. So this is how we will be we will be checking whether the two shapes are congruent or not. What is the meaning of congruency? What are the criteria of congruency? Everything we will be checking like this. However, for now, I am keeping uh, just a second. Saad is there, Arhan, Hanan. Okay, only you are there. I'm keeping the discussion this much from here only. I'm going to give you one question for now. Solve it. Uh, because uh, if I will elaborate like it on more and I will start taking the question and taking the concept that there are few criteria which we will be discussing in the next class. Okay, this is how we will be checking every time whether the two triangle or uh, yeah. Basically, this chapter is all about triangles. So here we will be talking about the congruency of triangle only. Okay. So this is how we will be checking whether the two triangles are congruent or not. No. There are certain rules. Okay. Few rules we are having. We will follow those rules. And then we will check if, if any of the rule is applicable for the given scenario then we will say yeah these two are congruent but in our mind we are clear with the concept of congruency okay in our mind we are clear what what does what is the meaning of congruency how like uh, what exactly is the meaning of corresponding sides corresponding angles we are clear with that now i will introduce a certain set of formulas which we will be following every time to check whether the two given triangles are congruent or not. Okay. So far, anyone having any confusion? No, any confusion? no. So from this triangle part, I am keeping the discussion over here. Now let me give you one question. Try solving it. Copy down the question.
do it
are you able to do it samia or han yes ma'am done have you proved that aob is collinear that means a straight line aob is a line that's it how yes how yes samia you have done right ma'am i am doing yes let's try doing it we have to show here that aob is a line we have to show that aob is a line collinear means it's a line okay let's solve it so what we will do here it is clearly written that in the given figure oe oe is bisecting this angle aoc so can we say this much is x and this much is also x can we we can okay of bisect cob okay so can we say this much this much is y and this much is also y and it looks like we are sorted okay oe is perpendicular to of that means x plus y is 90 degree 
multiplying two on both sides can we say two times x plus y is 180 degree can we can we check it yes ma'am and two times x plus y means for 2x plus 2y that is 180 degree what is 2x 2x means this angle then the other angle aoe plus angle eoc plus angle cof plus angle fob all to 